indie games have come a long way over the last decade, while the video games industry itself has grown a great deal as well, and big budget AAA games are now larger than it was ever thought possible a few years back. The indie games market has also seen incredible growth. Now every year we get a number of great games that haven't been backed by big budgets or made by massive development teams, but still manage to stick out as some of the best games of the year. Here in this feature, we're going to pay tribute to some of these games and take a look at what we feel are the best games that were largely made by just one person. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Cave Story Cave Story is one of the games that is often used as an example to argue that indie games are often just as good as any other games. It is also made by just one person. Cave Story was made by Daisuke Amaya over the course of five years in his free time and was inspired by games he'd played and enjoyed during his childhood, such as Metroid and Castlevania, something that is apparent in the style of gameplay that Cave Story itself features. Undertale The RPG is probably one of the most popular genres in our industry, and hence, you see all sorts of big-budget role-playing games backed by some of the biggest game studios, from The Witcher and Final Fantasy to The Elder Scrolls and Mass Effect. It's really surprising, then, that one of the best RPGs to have been released in the last few years is made by just one person. Developed by Toby Fox, the game took close to three years to develop, with funding received from a Kickstarter campaign, and it is truly one of the greatest games to have been released in recent memory, despite its smaller stature. Minecraft Minecraft is literally one of the most successful, biggest selling, and recognizable brand names in our industry at this point, to the extent that it has also become a genre in and of itself. But back when it was nothing but just another interesting looking indie game, it was actually developed by just a single person, the Swedish game designer Marcus Persson. The development and publishing were later taken forward by Mojang, but Persson created the game from the ground up and made it what it is today. Axiom Verge Axiom Verge is truly one of the best Metroidvania games you will ever play, and the fact that it was made from start to finish entirely by just one guy makes its excellence even more unique. The game was developed, written, designed, and composed all single-handedly by Tom Happ. Hard to imagine that a game this good was made by just a single person when so many big-budget titles that hundreds of people are working on fail to live up to expectations. Dust in Elysian Tale the Dust in Elysian Tale is probably one of the best indie-developed RPGs ever, more than anything else because of its beautiful world it portrays with its immaculate art. And it was all done almost single-handedly by independent designer Dean Dodro. Other than outside help for voice acting and sound composition, Dodrill compiled and created everything in dust from the ground up, all by himself. Thomas Was Alone Thomas Was Alone is as brilliant as it is visually simplistic, and its simple conceptual nature is the reason for its brilliance. The game was developed by Mike Bithell single-handedly, and on paper when you consider what the game is that doesn't seem so unfathomable. But Thomas Was Alone is a brilliant, immaculate experience which is simple and complex at the same time, and it would have been a great achievement regardless of how many people worked on it. The fact that it was made by just one person makes it that more special. Banished Banished is a game that has had its fair share of issues, but in spite of those issues, it manages to come out a pretty great and thoroughly enjoyable city-building game. It has a number of systems working together at the same time, it looks decent, and is deceptively complex, so the fact that it was made entirely by just one person is pretty impressive. Luke Hodorich started development on the game in 2011 and launched it in 2014 under the name Shining Rock Software. Stardew Valley Stardew Valley is a game that you can sink dozens upon dozens of hours into, with tons of aimless activities to take part in, from farming and harvesting to crafting goods, mining, and even social interactions, which can also lead to marriage. It's got so much content, and yet it was made by just one person. Eric Concerned Ape Barone started working on the game in 2011, before working on it for years and finally launching it last year. Papers, Please On paper, obvious pun is obvious, Papers, Please sounds like a very boring game. Playing as an immigration officer doesn't sound like fun at all, but it is. It really, really is. Not only do you have to keep track of an ever-increasing list of rules that becomes progressively more complex, you also get moral quandaries thrown at you every now and then, and there's even a story mode to sink your teeth into. Papers, Please was developed and published solely by Lucas Pope. Roller Coaster Tycoon Roller Coaster Tycoon is, of course, a pretty big franchise at this point, and it is no longer considered an indie series, but the very first game was developed almost entirely by one single person. Scottish game designer Chris Sawyer worked on the game for two years, writing 99% of the code all by himself. And while the visual side of the game, including the 3D modeling and rendering, were not done by Sawyer, 
The rest of the game was made entirely by him. Tetris. Tetris has become synonymous with gaming now. It is literally one of the building blocks of our industry. And while it may seem like the most basic, rudimentary game imaginable, back when it was new, it was new and fresh. And it was made by just a single guy, Russian artificial intelligence researcher named Alexei Pajitnov. The game's become something of a common pool for everyone over the years, so it's hard to believe that it was once made by just one person. Did he have any clue he was creating something this big? Doubtful. Lone Survivor Lone Survivor is an excellent game, a post-apocalyptic survival horror that is scary not because it is flashy and in your face, but because it chooses to hold some things back. Jesper Brine made Lone Survivor from the ground up all by himself, releasing it under the name Super Flat Games, and it's hard to imagine that it's been made by just a single soul. It's an excellent title and it serves to prove the fact that you don't always need a large team and a larger budget to make good games. Eskiel Steelberg's Love Making an MMO is hard, making an MMORPG is even harder, and making a good MMORPG is borderline impossible, as is evidenced by how many bad ones there are and how few truly good ones you come across. While Love, made single-handedly by Eskiel Steelberg, is by no means in the same league as World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, it is still a really good game, and you can sink plenty of hours into it. And just look at those visuals, it's truly a beautiful game. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.